Public Schools dismisses classes for the summer. We are taking a look back on the school year through the pandemic. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Deborah Kendrick. According to the latest data report from CPS's dashboard, six new COVID-19 cases were reported in the district's boundaries yesterday. That's a significant decrease from where CPS was in April of last year when the school district first announced fully online classes for the fall. Now, its highest report was on December 22nd with 175 new cases within the district boundaries and then in March you can see that significant drop that's when some CPS schools were in hybrid learning according to CPS vaccinations among staff hit nearly 60 percent by April 7th which is the same month the district went back to in-person classes for the remainder of the year and it's officially summer for Columbia Public Schools, with today being the last day of school. The district made the return to learn this year during the pandemic, which brought some challenges for students, parents, and teachers. AT17's Layla Mitchell is live at Locust Elementary School for us tonight. And Layla, people you spoke with say it took dedication from everyone to get through such a difficult year. Yeah, Deb, I was here earlier today as students were being let out of school for the summer and I saw parents and teachers hugging and embracing. They were so relieved to make it to the finish line after such a difficult year. Today is really about a celebration of that perseverance. Um, what our students, what our employees were able to accomplish during the global pandemic. CPS spokeswoman Michelle Baumstark said this past year was by far the most difficult year in recent education history. CPS started the year completely online in September. Baumstark said teachers were able to adapt quickly and parents agreed. Opting in to virtual learning for my kids, um, so they were largely at home. That is hard and we had great virtual teachers and I adored them. It was just amazing to see what they were able to do and learn virtually. So um, that was really cool just to have teachers that were willing to spend the extra time to help them. The district returned to hybrid in-person learning in January and went back to learning in person five days a week in April. Teachers said while this year was very difficult, they are thankful. We had lots of support from administrators, from the district, from our families. Lucas Jackson, a CPS student, said social distancing and wearing a mask during the year made it difficult to interact with friends. Excited about not having to wear a mask because, as uh, you said, it's, it's, it's nice to see people's faces. Coming up at 6, I'll have more on CPS dropping its mask and social distance requirements starting tomorrow. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Okay, Layla, thank you. And then starting on June 14th, students will return to CPS without masks and social distancing requirements for summer school. The